day eight, video three. So here's what's happening over here. Uh, today, again, just a mountain of brush that we've had to get rid of. We have literally gotten rid of, um, where are we at so far, Aaron, today? What about uh, four ton? Four tons of plants. Four tons of plants. Let me show you what's left. Here's the big deal is, is that we're at that ugly stage of construction. The stage of construction where literally nothing can be done until all of this is dealt with. We got broken schedule 20 pipes everywhere. We got plants we still gotta uh, deal with. We've got irrigation lines that we're still moving and rerouting and all this. We can't put a bit of liner down, a single rock, nothing until all of this is prepared and the thing is is that once that happens it's going to go quick slight design change so this area over here is going to be where the where the uh stream coming off the wetland begins so we were going to take it and cut it around these trees over here and return back about where that pile of brush is over there but when we laid this thing out in the CAD, we discovered that it was just, it just consuming square footage of our putting green that we're going to be putting in. Now, the putting green, we're subbing that out through, our, through the landscape contractor that's in charge of this property here. And um, it's gonna be PGA certified. And so one of his requirements is, is 2,500 square feet. And so if we had taken the stream and cut it back around and brought it back in, we would have taken up so much square footage that he would not have been able to been certified. So instead, now we have to reroute the stream and now here's where the stream's gonna go. So, the stream has to go through here. We are gonna make it twist and turn and start off in this direction over here. But then we're gonna make an abrupt turn. We're gonna go straight through this planter over here and go right into the lake. And you know what that means more plants have got to go so this huge pile of plants that i've got over here that's all got to disappear and we have literally spent an entire day with four guys clearing out what we've cleared out so far and look at how much we still have left to go so all of this has to go all of this has to go this huge pile here has already been disposed of this pile went from here all the way over to where my tool chests are, from here all the way back um, to about maybe six feet past that board over there. We still have to dispose of that pile, which probably will take about an hour and a half tomorrow morning. And then one at a time, all of these beautiful agaves are getting destroyed. I don't know what to say about it. Honestly, I really want to keep them. I even talked to my wife about it, but she says, hey, if you get rid of the hummingbird bush by the front door, I'll let you have the agaves. And I'm like, the agaves got to die. So <laughs> anyways, um, the biggest part, the worst part about building any kind of a water feature is getting through the part that we're trying to power through right now. It is absolutely a mess. But we figure that we've got, it's Wednesday, we figure that we've got Thursday and Friday to power through it and we'll be good to go. So enjoy the rest of the video. You're gonna get to see some tractoring. You're gonna get to see a little bit more uh, detail of what's been going on, how we're loading things into the trailer, all of that sort of fun stuff. And if you have questions about how to take on a project of this size yourself, please leave your comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Every comment gets answered to directly by me, and I watch my channel all day long, and I love watching the subscriber level just tick, 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 and grow. So I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens. It, like I said, is day eight and video three. So day eight, video three. And I'm here to remind you that proper demolition matters. Happy bonding.